Hello, what's up? I go by JB Twin286. You can call me JB for short. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install LSPDFR. So before you do anything else, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. If you have any questions about any other mods or anything like that, make sure you put those questions down in the comment and uh, I'll, I'll be sure to try to get to those. But I will do and be releasing a, a series of videos and how to install LSPDFR, the scripts, the mods, and other things like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to our Google Chrome site, and um, we're gonna just type in LSPDFR. Of course, now remember, you do have to have Grand Theft Auto 5 <clears throat> on PC only. It is not available on, it is not available to be modded on console, only on PC. Make sure you don't have a pirated copy. Make sure it is a legit copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go to the LSPDFR site. Uh, you can go to LSPDFR.com or you can go to LCPDFR.com. On the site, you ought to see something like this. And we're going to download version 4.9. <clears throat> so we're going to go there. And make sure if you if this is your first time ever doing this and uh, you're downloading programs on Windows, make sure you download WinRAR. Uh, just www.winrar w i n r a r dot com, or you can just type in WinRAR on Google and download it there. And I'll show you why. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and download this file. Uh, you got all of your user agreements and things like that. Nobody ever reads it, but you should read. <laughs> Make sure you read this stuff. I've been through this a million times. Uh, I'm gonna agree and download, and I'm gonna do the uh, the manual install. You can do the, the setup for you, which does it automatically. Uh, I'm gonna go through the manual version. All right, and once it's done downloading, you wanna click on the old file, and it should bring you up like this bring it up like this. Now this is WinWar right here. This is what you need to open and extract files. All right, so I I don't ever use the extract to right here. Uh, I always uh, drag and drop. So what you want to do is you want to go to your file, your Grand Theft Auto uh, file file. Now you can right click right here and go to open file location. Uh, it brings you to your launcher, which you can back up, but don't do that. I'm gonna show you how to get to your file. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your file folder uh, right here. You want, Mine is installed on my C drive. Uh, and I'm gonna go to Program Files. And it should be Rockstar Games and then Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, right here is my file. Now don't pay attention to the folders or anything right now. I get to that later. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to drag these files, all of these files, and you want to put them into your Grand Theft Auto 5 root folder. So when they say your root folder, that means the Grand Theft Auto 5 root folder, which is the main folder. So we're going to take all of these. We're going to drag and drop. We got one file folder right there. All right. So once you get that in there, that's good. Now, um, since we are going to be playing LSPDFR, I do recommend you download a couple of other um, plug-in scripts, whatever. Um, so the next thing I want to download is uh, Script Hook V. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Script Hook V. We just type that into our tool, our search bar. Script Hook V. And it should show you the script hook v ab software development that's the one you want to click on uh it should bring you here and you can see the the latest released version was july 23rd so you want to hit download right there it'll bring you to this page why i have no idea um so you want to you're going to get all of these options what you want to go to is uh it should be grant that that five script let me see here let me make sure we got the right one actually right there in the corner so once you click right there in the corner what you want is script hook v right here 
and then right here it gives you your options now it tells you in how to install it. it says copy your script hook v dot dll to the game main folder where gta 5 dot exe is located simple enough so hit download you're going to let that download and this is going to open up through winwar again want to minimize this right here and again this is your main root folder so you want to click in your bin uh and you're going to take I i'll say this the only folders that the only files that i take i don't take native trainer because i'm going to be using a different trainer uh, the one you want to take one the files you want to take if you want to do it the way I do it uh, I'm just gonna take script hook v dot l l dot d l l and this one right the den put eight dot d l l you want to drag both those and place them right here and boom right there you got lspdfr installed almost forgot uh so along with it you need rage hook plugin so that's going to be the next thing we, we we're going to download so so far we've got lspdfr downloaded and installed and script hook v installed the next thing we want to download is rage hook plugin so we're going to go right back to google chrome and we're going to go in the search bar we're going to go to rage hook plug in and you will see it pop up in the search bar downloads and we're not doing red dead redemption 2 we're doing grand theft auto 5. so this is the latest one right here you want to download that and it'll take a few minutes or a few seconds and again you want to take all of these files and you want to drag and drop them into your grand theft auto 5 root folder all right so let's grab all of these and we're going to drag and drop right here into our Grand Theft Auto 5 root folder. The same place we put script hook B and the same place we put all of the LSPDFR files into the same folder. All right. Uh, it says the destination has 20 files with the same names. I probably had some of the same stuff in there before. Uh, so we're just going to hit replace. That's fine. And boom like that you're done so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and close this out and we're gonna try to start up lspdfr now it's gonna take you to a couple screens all right so a little issue with that but uh i think you actually need microsoft visual c plus plus redistributables 2010 and 2015 so we downloaded both and we should be good to go. So let's pick up where we left off. We're gonna try to open up Rage Hook plugin right here. And it should take us straight to the game. So it's gonna open up the uh, Rockstar Launcher. And it should start the game automatically. All right, so once you made it in the game, you wanna go, oh, almost got it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is find a police station. Uh, as a matter of fact, no, wait. We need to, we chose not to have the uh, plugin load automatically. So what we need to do is uh, upload the plugin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go load. Sorry, you got a console. This is the console. So what you wanna do is you wanna hit F4. You wanna type load plug-in uh, space and right there you'll see uh, LSPDFR you can either click on it or you can just press tab and it'll fill it out for you and it should load it up automatically hopefully we don't have any issues and uh, honestly we shouldn't you don't have any mods or anything installed this is like the cleanest version of LSPDFR that you have right now um, uh, in the future, if you do have crashes, you can pull this little thing down and it'll show you uh, where you may have had a crash or where something may have, uh, I don't know, or uh, a crash. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, exit out of here. Let's hit uh, F4 again and let's jump on, jump in the car. And I think there's 
actually a place right down the road. So we go this way. And then we'll get into graphic settings and things like that and add-ons uh, a little bit later in another tutorial. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, Natural Vision Revision 2 or whatever it is. Natural Vision Evolved. All right, so here's a police station right here. So we're going to hop out and we're going to see if we can go on duty here. If we go on duty here without it crashing, then we uh, we, we completed the uh, download and install of LSPFR successfully. Let's try to enter the station. And right here, we're going to select go on duty. And this is just going to have you can choose a pre-select character or you can set up your own character. We're just going to try to see if we can find somebody that's already made up. But this is this is what you're gonna go through, uh, and if LSPDFR is installed correctly and you've gotten to this point, then you shouldn't have any problem. You should be able to go to the next step. Uh, we're just gonna choose him right there or her, or right there, and we'll just go to save and continue. All right, her name is gonna be Jessica Sanyo, and we're gonna use her. So you get back down to the station, you're in the locker room. Uh, you can choose which agency you wanna go with. We're gonna go with LS, uh, PD, uh, and we're gonna confirm that right there. And then um, we're gonna go to, to the garage and pick a vehicle. And uh, then we should be good to go on duty. We're gonna use this one right here cause I'm not gonna be using the uh, vanilla vehicles. But all right, here it is right there. You're good to go. Uh, disregard the Discord links. Like I said, everything is new on this PC, so I got to get everything reset back up and get some of these uh, little notifications to quit popping up. So here it is. You're good. Um, I got to remember how to turn on the siren. I, I used ELS on the last one. Uh, you use Q. I think, no, wait, wait. All right, hang on, hang on. <laughs> All right, so here's our lights right there. Q is for the computer. Um, and then you have E for your lights right there. And then you, you should be able to turn on your sirens with J. So there you are. You're, you're available for duty. So uh, you should get a call. Uh, it may take a little bit but you do have lspdfr installed and this is just the beginning of the beginning of everything that you can add to lspdfr this is the most basic script uh a lot of some other things we're going to get into in some of the other tutorials is uh key bindings how to set them up how to get them from how to stop them from conflicting with other keys and uh things like that so if you enjoyed this video man and if it was if you found it helpful uh, definitely definitely hit that like button for me comment down in the video below if you have questions or you have something that you want me to um, help you with let me know I'll be trying to do these tutorial tutorials on everything I usually upload for mine LSPDFR and um, try to show you guys but anyway thank you I'm out there you go a robbery right there so it's working peace